Hi everyone, today's video we're going to be going through how you can build your own customized consolidated reports in either Google Sheets or Excel using Genius Sheets. So first on our website, what we've done is we've added an ability to, so you can see we've got multiple QuickBooks entities connected here. We've added a little trigger that lets you add a nickname. This is a four digit nickname you can add to any company. And this is so that when we use the formulas in the spreadsheets, it's a little bit easier and we can keep those formulas shorter and easier to understand. So here I have my consolidated spreadsheet. We have two entities, Genius Sheets and Genius Test. Each are separate and distinct QuickBooks entities. Now what we're doing is with Genius Sheets custom formulas, you can add the reference to the name of the company. So you can pull in these different companies, pieces of data into individual cells, letting you mix and match or consolidate or create dashboards, however you like. What this also works with is now we added that nickname fire here. So we update it and you see it's still going to be linked because it's the same as the company name. And then in this second column over here, it's right here, we're gonna be referencing the other company, Genius Test, um, and then cross-referencing the different categories. So the beauty of this is as you go down, you can see each of these different line items are gonna be connected to the company of their choice. And then you can just build a sum all the way over here to the right. And this column is effectively gonna be your consolidated P&L. Now you can move it to other tabs, you can move it to other sheets, and it's still gonna be linked to this different data. And each month as the data comes in, 12-1-2021, that'll update. Now the benefit of this, what you can start doing is you can have a consolidated P&L for one company, Junior Sheets up here going across, and then on the same tab or a different tab, you can have a consolidated workbook of the same thing of this genius test company going across and then you can consolidate them individually through these different cells or you can do it in an aggregate basis so you're only pulling in the totals like total income gross profit total expenses they'll make it a little bit easier to link but you can do it either way if you don't have a company selected through the formula so if we remove the data from the formula right there. So it's no longer referencing a company name. When I hit refresh data, it's gonna pull the data based on the company selected. So in this instance, I took off the company name for data that is Genius Sheets. If I now switch this to the other company, I do refresh data. It's now gonna come back zero because it's saying, okay, what is the cones of Dunshire balance for this Genius Test company, which is zero. So you get a zero for that. So just be a little bit careful as you're creating these consolidated reports, make sure you're referencing the name of the companies. As long as you reference the name or the nickname, it doesn't matter what company you have selected over here on the right when you hit refresh data, it's automatically gonna sync to your QuickBooks entity. So if you have any questions on how to do that, how to build these consolidated reports, let us know. We're always available. We just rolled out this feature, and so we'll be rolling more out soon. Thanks. Bye.